The Brewers hosting the Braves, and the Brewers are minus 115 on the money line. The Braves are minus 105. The over-under is 8.5 runs. Atlanta getting a run and a half is minus 210, meaning if you bet them that way and they win the game outright, you'd win. If they lose by one, you'd win. Milwaukee laying a run and a half is plus 175, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win the game by two. Now, I've seen three different pitching matchups for the Braves. I've seen Davidson. I've seen Tucker. I mean, I've seen Davidson, I've seen Strider, and I can't remember who the third person was, so I didn't do any research on their pitchers because they're probably going to wait until game time. Hauser did pitch twice against the Braves last year. Two innings, one run, one earned. They won 2 nothing. One inning, three runs, three earned. They lost 3 nothing. so not very deep pitching outings. Atlanta's on a two-game losing streak overall. The Brewers are on a two-game winning streak overall. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3 in their past 10. Atlanta is 6-4 against the Brewers in their past 10. The team getting a run and a half is 7-3, and, and the under 8.5 is 6-4. I'm going to take Milwaukee with the money line, Atlanta with the runs. I'm going to go under even though we're looking at a guy whose ERA is 16. Let's be real, he pitched two and two-thirds of an inning, so is that really an accurate assessment? Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. If he gets lit up again, then I was entirely wrong.